Welcome back to the Eater Food Kitchen, guys. Today we are going to be making a green fig salad with a sweet twist, so stay tuned. Alright guys, so we're going to make a green fig salad. Today, it can be incorporated into your Sunday lunch. I know there are a lot of potato salad fans out there, but we're making green fig salad today. You could swap out the potato for green fig. And shout out to my friend Asha. She gave me a green, a hand, <laughs> a green fig last week. So I said it's a good idea. Let's make a green fig salad, right? So we have the basic ingredients here, your peas and carrots scallions or chives, celery, onions, pimentos, onion, garlic, paprika, salt and pepper, you know the drill. But the secret ingredient today is we're gonna be using the honey mustard from Swiss. Now yes, green fig salad is one of those dishes that could be savory only or it could have a little sweet tinge. I know most of us add a little sugar to our salads or potato salad. So in this case, you would not need to add any additional sweetener because honey mustard yeah so i'm going to start to cut up my well cut up my green bananas and add them in my water that is already boiling so let's get into it so we're going to be using about two hands of bananas today and truth be told green fig salad is not something that i grew up having I was introduced to it um, in my adult life, and I'm not shame. <laughs> you know, uh, my mom will more use green fig in like broth. And yes, I'm saying broth. It is spelled B R O T H, but we just say fish broth, right? Or some people, they add it, to, they make fig punch. If you ever had fig punch, but now we have had fig punch. Punch? Green fig punch? I don't think my, my Wow, I have never had green fig punch, so tell your brother to organize me. Yeah, if you have had green fig punch, let us know um, in the comments. But today we're making a green fig salad and it's going to be easy. We're also going to be pairing it with a little barbecue chicken that we're whipping up quick, quick, quick. We already had the chicken parboiled. Green fig, as we call it, we call it green fig, but it's really green bananas. They are high in vitamin C, B9 complex, I believe, and also potassium, which is really known for bananas, right? So it's gonna go into the hot water and it's not gonna take too, very long. It's, it starts off, the skin starts off green, but when it cooks, it, you'll see it kind of turn a kind of brown color. And then of course you could test it after for tenderness. Peeling it right now, it feels kind of sticky and waxy. If you've never peeled a green banana before, that's how it feels. But it's pretty easy, as you could see. Quick dish today. Right, guys, so a little technique that I use I, whenever I'm making salads like this, I always make the sauce separately. So I know there are some people who all the ingredients are in and then you add each sauce. I prefer not to do that because I, I think it's easier in terms of you put you mix everything together and then you taste the sauce. And then once you to the sauce tastes good, <laughs> then you can add it to your ingredients, right? So if you do it that way, let us know in the comments. If not, it's fine. So we're gonna start with some honey mustard. And I think this is, let me just taste it to see what we can do. I think I scoot out a little bit much. Mmm. Mmm. It has a nice, you're feeling it at the back. So it has enough tartness and you're definitely getting the honey. So I would definitely have no need to add sugar in here, right? So let me just wash my hands. And truth be told, Swiss is definitely one of the, Swiss honey mustard in particular, is one of the, my go-to sources. So you'll always find this in my fridge, especially the fact that it comes in the pack, it comes in the bottle and it also comes in the, comes in the squeeze pack, which is great. So to this, we'll add some white pepper, some salt, 
some onion powder, garlic powder, a little paprika, and I'm going to mix this. You all will see the scents in it after, right? But for me, a salad is one of those things where after you make it, it has to set. Because the longer it stays, the better it tastes, yeah? There's some people who like their salads really, really wet. Some people like it on the drier side. I think I more like it medium, not too wet, not too dry. I want to be able to make out everything in there, right? So let me taste. Mm. Okay, 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 okay. Nice. Let me just add a little bit more of the honey mustard. And again, for some people, you know, they like their salads on the sweet side. So I think having the honey mustard is a great, great addition. Right, guys. So our green fig is just about done. It's tender. So I'm going to take it to drain. Right guys, so our green bananas, green fig, out. We have let, left it to cool to room temperature. And from here on in, it's going to be pretty easy. So we're just gonna be cutting it up. And if you notice the skin is a real fake out scene because it looked like plenty in the pot. But by the time I cut up all of this, you'll see. Now we have several um, types of bananas in the Caribbean. If you like, you can name some in the comments. There is Lakatan, Grand Michel, and Moko, which is not supposed to be confused with the Moko plantain. There is Moko fig as well. Yeah. So we're just gonna dice this up. In St. Lucia, their variation of this dish is where they will add cod salt fish which i think is a real good idea so the next time you try this you can probably make it saint lucian style and add some salt fish in there also i have never had it but i'm sure it tastes pretty good um green fig to curry which is on the curry side i've also seen they do add salt fish to that as well so if you make Green fig takari, hats off to you. That is something I will try, probably on another show. <laughs> oh gosh, but I, yes, and green fig sauce, yes. Green fig sauce. I mean, when it really think about it, the green fig is a really, really versatile um, staple. <laughs> and I mean, it grows in, how many of us grew up with green fig growing in the yard? I mean, come on. My grandparents, they had one. So I grew up seeing a bunch of green fig, you know, outside. And I know that is a lot of us as well. If you try this recipe, you all know the drill, make sure and let us know. I mean, it's too easy not to try. If you've never tried green fig salad before, come on, come on. Try it out today and give it a sweet twist with some honey mustard from Swiss. Get a sweet twist with some honey mustard from Swiss. <laughs> so I'm putting some thyme here. It is optional, but i sorry. Thyme is one of my favorite herbs. So I like to add it. Add some pimentos. And the beauty of a salad is layers of flavor. Some chives, sive, green onion, scallion, whatever you want to call it, some celery, and this is our local celery. i sorry, I love our local celery. It's so fragrant, so pungent. I could actually see this dish working for Christmas too, you know, had a nice little colors going on. 
Right, so we're well incorporated now. So now we're gonna add our sauce mixture. I'm gonna add this for now. I'm gonna mix. Ooh. And now I'm going to add the rest. Right, so guys, we reached the best part, the eating part, which is always the best part for me. Just taking a little taste. And we have some barbecue chicken here. Now, I am a breast and wing kind of person, so is the producer, but we only have one breast and wing here. So what do you think I'm going to do? What do you think I'm going to do? Should I? Should I take it or should I leave it for I will be nice today. And I will settle for a little leg. I just love the color. And you know what gave it this color? The honey mustard. Mm-hmm. Mm. This green fig salad saying so many things right now. You're getting the twang, the slight sweetness, the green bananas, it wasn't overboiled, so it still has a little firmness to it. And then you're getting the crunch from the veggies, the brightness, the onion, the green peas, the little herbs. Mm. I mean, really, they can't go wrong. And I'm sure I'm making the producer hungry. <laughs> Let me try it with some little chicken now. Yes! Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna lie to tell you. This combination of the barbecue chicken with the green fig salad, eh, pick. This is a solid meal by itself and very, very easy to put together. So how about you make this green fig salad and let us know how it tastes. Special thanks to Swiss and Massey Stores for sponsoring this episode of Simply Local. Swiss honey mustard can be found in Massey Stores nationwide. So guys, what you waiting on to try this epic fig green fig salad we're waiting on try it now tag us let us know the thing best